Hi, I'm Yanji, and my project is on the integral test air. So we'll first see the definition of the remainder Rn. Um, it is the air made when Sn, the sum of the first n terms, is used as an approximation to the total sum. Um, so if we set, assume that fx is, looks like this, since it has to be a decreasing function in order to be used um, for integral test, we'll first look at this graph, which start from n and then uses the right endpoints over here to get the air. I mean area. So Rn, these will be a n plus one, a n plus two, and the sum of those will always be less than the integral of f x n to the um, infinity. And then if we look at another um, graph that starts from n plus one and then uses the left n points, these are always going to be greater than the integral of f x that starts from n plus one. So that's where we get the equation for the remainder estimate. Now we'll solve some example questions. The question is, estimate the error involved in this appro approximation. Approximate the sum of the series 1 over n to the 5 by using the sum of first 10 terms. So we'll first solve the integral. The integral would be x to the And we'll have the limit that goes to, from t, that goes to the infinity, and have the integral from n to the t. This will be negative 1 over 4, x to the 4th power. And if we solve this, this is going to be limit, um, t goes to the infinity. 1 over 4 t to the 4th plus 1 over 4 n to the 4th power. And this will be um, negative 1 over infinity plus 1 over 4 n to the 4th. And this will become 0, so it's going to be 1 over 4 n to the 4th. And now we can find the sum of the first 10 terms by adding them. So s10 is equal to 1 over 1 to the 5th power plus 1 over 2 to the 5th plus 1 over 3 to the 5th and it goes to 10 to the 5th and using calculation calculator or by hand it's going to be 1.03691 and we can solve the estimate by the remainder and then 10 to the infinity and then it's going to be x to the fifth power. And this, since it's equal to 1 over 4 and 4, we can plug in 10 as n. And it's going to be 1 over 4, 40,000, which is equal to 0. 0.000025. So the air, when approximating the sum of the series, by using the sum of the first 10 terms will be its at most 0 0.000025. Using the same series 1 over n to the fifth power, we're going to solve how many terms are required to ensure that the sum is, in, sum is accurate within 0 0.0005. So we're going to set this equal to 0, 0, 0, 5, five. <clears throat> excuse me, and then we're going to have this, and then we already solved that this is going to be 4 times n to the 4th, so if we plug that in to the equation, this, if you solve this, this is going to be 4.729, so therefore n must be 5 in order to ensure that the sum is um, accurate within 0 0.005. Remember that this is the most common type of questions asked on the integral test error. We'll continue to solve some more questions. So let s is equal to the series of 1 over n to the fourth and approximate s using the partial sum s5. Um, we'll use the error estimates associated to the integral test to determine what is the best we can say about the error. 
So let's just write the equation down. So the integral of fx will be the limit from t goes to the infinity and then 1 over n to the fourth, the um, derivative is four, thir 3 and then tn which is going to be limit and then t3 plus 1 over 3 n to the third and this since it's going to be negative 1 over infinity this is going to be 0 it's going to be 1 over 3 n to the third and if we plug that in, n plus 1 over here, so it will be 3 times 6, since the n is 5, rn, 1 over 3, 5 to the third, which is going to be 1 over 648, and then 1 over 375, which is d. So from this equation that we found earlier, we can derive to derive this equation to another equation using that Rn is sum of the series minus the partial sum. So if we plug that in, the equation will be S minus the partial sum. And if we add the partial sums, to all the terms, we're going to have plus Sn is larger, uh, is less than S, the total sum, and S will always be less than or equal to This equation gives a lower bound and an upper bound for S, the total series sum, and provide more accurate approximation to the sum of the series than the partial sum Sn does. For this next example, we'll use the equation that we just derived um, to estimate the sum of the series um, n, n of 1 over n to the fifth power, starting from n is equal to 1 to the infinity, when n is equal to 10. So the equation is um, since n is ten, we'll just plug in ten, and then this will be eleven since it's n plus one. and then to the integral of fx dx. Since, it's, since this equation, 1 over n to the fifth, is the same equation from example 1, we already know that s10 is equal to 1.03691, and then this, the integral of fx dx, will be 1 over 4x to the fourth, so plugging that in, 1.03691 plus 1 over 4 11 to the 4th power four and then tenth power over here this will be 1.03693 and then 1.03694 to um, s can be obtained by finding a midpoint of the integral interval so s will be you can add the endpoints together, 1.03693 plus 1.03694, and divide them by 2, and then you will get the midpoint. And then to find the error associated with this, you can find the difference of the two intervals. So the error will be 1.03694 minus 1.03693 then divide them by 2 and this would be 0. 0.00001 divided by 2 which is 0. 0.00005 if you need or want more um, practice problems you can go to these pages on the early transcendental textbook thank you for watching